Hi there, it's Ben Housel here. In this class, we're gonna have a look at how we make a very quick montage in Final Cut Pro 10 and get that montage to time perfectly with the kind of rhythm of a beat using a couple of different tools. So we're gonna be rippling edits using the selection tool. And we're also gonna be using the trim tool to get those edits in exactly the right position. And now one of the key things we're gonna be doing in this class to get this edit that you can see now is we're going to be using the duration tool to trim all of our clips down to a very short duration very quickly. So there's a couple of different steps to this. First of all, we're gonna get some footage down onto the timeline. So we'll just scroll up here to the top of our video and we're gonna grab all of this footage. So we're gonna create a very quick montage of all of this and we'll drag it down to the timeline. And now with the clips on the timeline, I'm gonna tap Shift and Z, which is gonna to zoom to my timeline. I wanna drop the audio for all these clips right down. So I'm gonna to come to my audio levels up in the inspector, and if you don't see them, you might be on the video section, but also if you don't see the inspector up on the top right, then just come to Window, Show in Workspace, and just check the inspector so that you can see it up here on the top right. So now we're gonna drop the volume down, and because we have all those clips selected, it's gonna drop the volume of all of those clips down in one go. So now I'm gonna come back to my selection tool. I'm gonna to keep all these clips selected. And basically what I want is a one second or maybe just slightly less than one second selection of each of these clips. So we get a very quick montage of all these clips. So I'm gonna drag my audio track down onto the timeline. So I've got the audio track that you heard there in the intro. And once we've got the audio down to the timeline, one of the very first things we're gonna do here is just mark out the beat using markers. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so I see only that audio track. And I'm gonna, using the selection tool, just hover over that and select it. And now from the beginning, I'm gonna play through and I'm gonna to start to tap the M key, which is gonna give me my markers once I start to hear the beat. Now, if we increase the height of our timeline, we'll start to see a bit more clearly um, where the, the beat is, but I'm gonna be listening for it and tapping out the beat as best I can. Okay, so now that we've tapped out the rhythm throughout that clip, you can see basically we have a marker for every beat of this track. So it only takes a couple of minutes of the duration of the track to, to kind of mark this out. But what it's gonna help us with is when we're actually slipping our edits into just the right spot so we can snap things to those positions a bit more easily. So I'm gonna hold down Shift and tap Z so I can see my entire timeline. And then I'm going to grab all of my clips and then holding down the control key and tapping D, it's gonna allow me to type in a duration that's gonna be for all of these clips. So I'm just gonna go for a duration of one second to start with, which is typing in a one and then a period, and then that will give me the one second or one full stop, and we'll hit enter. And you'll see now that we have our clips, I'll just turn the sound down for this bit, and you'll see now we have our clips one second long on the timeline. So if we play this back. We've got something close to what we're looking for, but it's not quite running to the beat. So what I'm gonna do here actually is I'm gonna, with my selection tool selected, I'm just gonna find out what the duration is between two of these beats. So I'm gonna extend this out a little bit. So we'll just snap this to one of the playheads here. And you can see now that the duration of this clip, if I hold down control and tap D, is 105. Um, so let's just see if that matches for the, the whole sequence. So this second clip that I've retimed is 1052. So essentially what I want for the duration of my clips is one second and five frames rather than the one second that I've got. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little so I can see all my clips. And we'll just stretch across all these clips and hold down control and tap D again. And I'm gonna type in one period zero five. And then now we can see that we're starting to get a little closer to timing with those, those beats. And there's still a little bit of work to do. Um, I think the first beat comes in a little later. But once we set that, you can see that pretty much all my edits are now timing to the beat and um, once I've got this first beat set up. So we should have a nice edit that kind of times pretty well with the beat. So let's play that through.
Okay, so you can see that uh, some of those clips are good. The timing is pretty good. Um, we're falling a little bit off the beat um, at some point uh, a little bit later on. So we can begin to work on that manually um, as we work through each of the clips. And that's where the snapping to these uh, beats will come in handy. So if I drag this to the right, you can see now that I'm having to do that every few beats just to kind of pull things back onto the beat, assuming that the beat I tapped out at the beginning um, was pretty good. The other thing that we can adjust here that will be helpful is to slip some of the clips. So you can see, for instance, this uh, clip here um, is a, on a little bit of the wobblier part of the, the video that I took. So if I grab now the trim tool, I can actually slip this clip a little bit and it's going to be a bit clearer with some of the surfing clips later on. So I'll just move down the timeline. So here, this one, uh, I'm zooming in all the way through this clip. So what I'm going to do is with my trim tool selected, I'm going to drag that back now so that we can actually be zoomed in through the whole clip and we'll end with him just cutting back there. So we're gonna get that full cut back now. So basically we've clicked on this clip and as we're dragging, we're seeing where the clip starts and where the clip ends in that short section. And we can also use the trim tool and the edit points to actually just modify that so it times a little bit better um, with the beats. So let's play that one through. So that's a bit of a better clip. This clip has nothing going on in it right here, so I'm just going to drag that ahead and see if we don't get someone catching a wave at some point. Okay, we get someone walking across the camera, so I think we'll use that. So it's, he's starting to walk across the camera at the beginning. So we'll just have waves for a second. And here, I think we end the clip just before he's about to actually get to the wave. So we'll slide that forward a little bit, get the spin in there, and that's gonna be more of an action shot for this nice quick clip. So you can see by slipping those clips, we're grabbing some of the more relevant parts of those clips within these short one second and five frame selections that we've got. If you want to see the whole clip, we can double click on the edit point and it will open up the precision editor, which actually allows us to see a bit more of that entire clip. So we can actually scrub through quickly and see if we've got any more interesting stuff. So as this wave breaks, that's a bit more of a, an interesting part of this clip. So I can't actually slip this back into position from here. So what I'm gonna do is close that up, but I know now what I'm, I'm looking for um, in this clip. So I'm gonna grab the, the trim tool and just drag that until I can see that wave breaking, which is around about here. And then we see the surfer kind of bailing his board underneath the wave. So we'll play that through. So the other thing as well is that if we do have a clip where there's a bit more action in there, in the whole clip, then we can use the select tool and extend our clip so that it's running across two of these beats if we want it to. But we're still keeping the, the essential rhythm of that edit going. So that's a very quick overview of how to create a, a nice quick uh, montage um, of your, your clips. And what we're ending up with is something like this. So you can see how the clips are timing nicely with the beat there and then also how we can modify those clips as we go through and work on our edit. So there's some quick tips for creating a very quick montage of clips and timing to the rhythm of a beat using both the trim tool and the select tool to get those edit points to drop in just exactly the right spot, but also using control and D, or if we select a clip or a number of clips, control and D and then modify and change duration. They both do exactly the same thing. So thanks for watching, I hope that's been useful. If you haven't had a chance yet, then please do go ahead and check out my Skillshare class. You'll see a link below. And 
If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 or you'd like to arrange a private tutorial session, then please don't hesitate to get in touch and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.